One, it's important because Bitcoin has been the best performing asset class in eight of the last 10 years, right? It's important because Bitcoin was the originator of blockchain uh, and the originator of some of the new practices uh, that have become commonplace in the crypto domain. And it was hard to invest in that innovation because of the way that you needed to invest in Bitcoin through a either regular uh, through either a centralized or a decentralized exchange, and you needed to hold the asset in a wallet, right? So it was an unusual way of accessing a new technology. Compare that to when ChatGPT came out last year, the money that flowed into these AI stocks because people understood that that company, those companies that originated these early LMM models and these early AI offerings were of huge potential value because of their innovative importance, right? Bitcoin never got the benefit of seeing that innovative importance because it was very hard to trade. Now it is becoming much easier to trade. And the reason that's important is because Bitcoin really is going to be seen as history as introducing the pivot point from today's platform economy, which I think everyone on this call is very familiar with. And many of the firms on this call have made a lot of money by participating in the platform economy. But the launch of Bitcoin really marked the pivot to what we are calling the protocol economy. And this protocol economy offers a very different value proposition, right? In the traditional platform economy, you invested into the company that built the platform that attracted the users and that created network effects, right? So you are buying the company based on the value proposition of it could create network effects and benefit from that. But now with the protocol economy of which Bitcoin was the originator, right, you are buying the network. You are buying the network effects. You are buying the network. And I think that is such an advancement in the investment hypothesis. But so many people have lost that because they got very caught up in the mechanics of the early Bitcoin trading, the difficulty of accessing it. So as a product, the Bitcoin ETF is going to now uh, have a place in portfolios because of its spectacular performance and its speculative performance in the past. But in doing so, it's going to open up the real story of innovation of why is Bitcoin having that type of performance and what is it enabling? And I think people will really start to internalize, we as investment managers, particularly who are always looking for that next growth opportunity for our clients, it will start to recognize um, that this is the pivot that we've been waiting for to the next economy, which is going to be the protocol economy. Um, so that's why it's going to be in history so important. In present, it's also so important because we have heard over and over about the need for diversification into alternatives in individual and wealth portfolios. Uh, alternatives have been difficult to access because of the liquidity structure. Even some of the newer retail-focused offerings have liquidity issues associated with them for smaller accounts. Whereas crypto and Bitcoin and the Bitcoin ETF is something very liquid that can now play the role of that alternative exposure in many accounts. So that's the short term case, but the longer term case of why this is such an important moment is going to be that it is really going to now open up the story of innovation that blockchain kicked off and the story of this pivot to the protocol economy uh, in a way that I think investors will really be able to internalize and understand.